And also this evening, the situation is likely going to have a major impact on voters when they head to the polls in November. News for Jack's reporter Alicia Hatcher spoke to a political science professor to see how this could affect both campaigns. An investigation is underway after former President Donald Trump was shot in an assassination attempt at his rally in Butler, Pennsylvania, Saturday. Minutes into his speech, you hear multiple pops. Trump touches his ear before hiding behind the podium. Seconds later, the Secret Service rushes to cover him and takes him off stage. The shooter and an attendee were killed. Two others are in critical condition. I spoke to political science professor Mark Certainly. Bender, who uh, says and, and you, and when situations like this occur on a president, polls typically increase. You would expect that this, coupled with the upcoming convention in a couple of days, when you always see a bump related to conventions, that you could expect Trump to add a handful of points in polling after in the next week or two. Uh, that could really put some pressure on, on the Democrats. Could voters have some sympathy for him or, you know, something along those lines that could help with his campaign? Certainly. Um, you know, I know that this is weird sounding uh, after yesterday's events, but uh, in a lot of ways, this is a, a really good opportunity for the Republican Party to shift the focus, for have Trump to appear presidential and for him to generate sympathy uh, amongst Voters. He says President Biden and the Democratic Party could possibly have a chance in the polls, but overall feels this is good for the Republicans. Alicia Hatcher, Channel 4, The Local Station.